Here we have a very fine violin, very rare instrument from Alessandro Galliano. This instrument's from 1719. What's really interesting about Alessandro Galliano is he was the patriarch of the Galliano family of makers, including Niccolo Galliano, Gennaro Galliano. He was also the patriarch of the Neapolitan school. So this is a very historically important instrument. This is a pretty rare instrument. You don't see his instruments come up very often. And what an amazingly fine example of his instrument. So what's really breathtaking about this particular instrument is the workmanship and the wood quality. I mean, just look at this one piece back. The varnish is absolutely spectacular. The varnish is such a radiant, bright varnish. You have such color and you have such refraction. Um, if you can see this instrument in a good light or in natural sunlight even, you can really see how this varnish just comes alive with all kinds of colors. The refraction is wonderful, the top is wonderful. I really love some of his handwork. The F holes are just absolutely beautiful. The positioning, I love the corners of this instrument and his scroll. What an unbelievably elegant scroll. A lot of character in it. Really, really nice and clean. Such a lot to look at. You could literally study this instrument all day. When I first got this instrument, I spent probably myself and several other makers here, we probably spent about the first six hours of the day just pouring over every little detail. Um, different color lightings, different spectrums. Uh, we were using magnification to blow it up. And the more you look, the more interesting this instrument is. It just has so much to give. Alessandro is really, really spectacular. It's one of my prized possessions for the sound of this instrument. And I would describe it as having a very robust, very powerful bottom end. You can really push hard into the instrument. And the really, the more you give it and the more you push, the more it gives back. It's really not possible to bottom the instrument out. So it makes it really fun to play. It'll do anything that you want it to do in that regards. The midsections, uh, especially when you're shifting, there's so much color. There's so many nuances coming through the instrument. Um, so many overtones. It makes it super nice to play. The E string is so sweet. The instrument has a, a, a brilliance, a power, but always such a sweetness. Never a, a thin sound coming out of this instrument. So many nuances. It's great for orchestra work. It's great for solo work. You really have a hard time putting this instrument down. It makes you want to get up and practice. It makes you want to grab the instrument. Um, just playing and playing and playing. And the more you play, you kind of lose track of time. The instrument's just, it's just wonderful to be with. This Alessandro Galliano is a very fine and very rare example of this maker's work and of the Galliano dynasty in general and very proud to have this instrument in the Gatcha collection.